<laughs> All right, let's get started. So, Gavin, yo, yo, glad to have you guys on. I don't know for work life balance, but I think this is pushing it. Right, waiting for everyone to chime in. Wait, let's see what I need to do today. What? I've got nothing. Well, apart from the feline event. Man. All right. <clears throat> so John, one night king. Great to hear yo yo. I'm doing well too. How are you guys weekend going? Sub Chiran. Awesome. Okay, okay. Let's get started now. How's my? Ah, oh, I think my condensed resin is limit. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and farm this thing first. I haven't done it this week. Probably weekend because tomorrow you have a test. Good luck with your test. Is it like a midterm test or something? Right? I think I think this should be around midterm. I have to get ready for a party. Oh nice, nice, nice. Nice. I haven't been to a party for so long. I mean I did have my birthday the other day, but I actually didn't really hang out too much. So Programming midterm. You're a programmer? Thank you so much, yo yo. Thank you so much. All right, we do that. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been to school for so long, so I didn't really have to be. You are mindful of tests too much, which is a good thing, at the very least. Ow, I, that hurts. Bam. All right. All right, come on. Ow. Oh no. All right, now we're good. Awesome. Join programming course. Man. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like the trend of programming is actually really high right now. It's like so many, so many friends of mine that I know is in programming. I know like one part of it, it does help you to actually make a lot of money, but that for me personally, I can't really see it in program. It's not something that I, I can actually sit the whole day. No, it's still PC related, but streaming and doing YouTube is also PC related, which I'm more into. Okay, awesome. That shouldn't be too hard. There you go. Awesome. All right, that took a little bit longer than we expected, but everything is fine. Okay, cool, cool. Is programming actually that hard? I think you do have to, you know, how long does it take to study programming in, in university? I think it's around six years, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least my friend actually spent studying six years. Sub Moon. Moon. Right. Oh no. No. I realized that it would happen. All right. Grab that and we should be good. Awesome. Now maybe I'm just going to go ahead and farm. 
Uh, where is it? I think it was supposed to be around here. No, not there. This one. Yep. Your country is three years. That's actually not too long. Do you have to study online a lot? I feel like you do, right? It's like copy, like going onto YouTube and actually studying about it. Something like that. Where's my coaching team? Man, I've got so many teams. I wonder where my coaching team go. Oh no, I don't have my coaching team. Okay, one sec. All right. That should be lovely Farina and where's my Sian dude? There she is. Let's finish this quickly. How are you doing, tell me? You see electro charge? Yep, this is electro charge. Pretty much. Not too much electro charge, but more like but more like pure electro damage. Okay, cool. Oh, so that should be pretty fast. There you are. Wow, whenever Alexino boss come, it's that cycle again where we constantly have to farm for world bosses every single week. Well, apparently, only Alecchino is going to be needing... Um, it's going to be needing the world boss material. So at least that's fine. Nice. Usually this takes so long for some reason. Awesome. Alright, we're going all out. Alright. Okay. There you are. All right, it's dead. Before my coaching actually uses her burst. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I've actually done my abyss. So I do need to actually do my abyss. Oh my goodness me. All right, one sec. One sec. Yeah. Today is actually the 13th of April, isn't it? Abyss going to be resetting for, like, in, in some time. Alright, we'll speed run the abyss so that I can grab my primo gems. Nice. Wonder how the next abyss is gonna go. Man, Alexino is gonna be real powerful with the next abyss because it is her own abyss. Alright. I mean, which team ha I haven't been using for a long time? I love the Lubum team. That's my lovely Yao Yao, there she is. Alright, and um... Damn. Dude, using both Nahida and Furina on the same team is quite tough. Alright, Navia, your turn. And Zhongli, I think that's fine. Is Alec Chino worth it? That's a good question. I mean, I'm making a video on it, but basically, it, it actually depends a lot on you, actually. Because whether or not you have Hu Tao, um, that's one thing. The second thing is that Alec Chino is probably gonna be the, the hardest character to play in the whole game. Because of the fact that, uh, you know, she doesn't have healing capability apart from herself. Right, so you two, you need to rely on her burst for her to get healing. Right? 
her best team do not want the shield. So if you have a Zhong Li, you know, your damage on Alexino tanks significantly compared to when you have a Kazuha. Right? So if you're if you're sacrificing ease of gameplay for Alexino, um, you know, in terms of uh, in terms of you know maximizing her damage, then potentially she's gonna do worse than Hutao. That's the thing about it. So it's it comes down to 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 you and your preference. Alexino is gonna be doing more damage than Hutao, most likely from all of the math that we've been doing. Right? But that is in the case of you maximizing her damage and not having Zhongli most of the time. Right? Other than that, you will need to learn how to iframe. Right? You will need to learn not to get hit too much. And you may potentially have to avoid bosses that one shot you. Right? Because if we're going to be going up against, you know, the robot boss in floor 12 and literally one shots you, then Alecino is going to be in hell of trouble. Basically, yeah, but, but I'm making a whole video on it and I'll be explaining more details of it. But in, you know, in terms of, you know, in, in terms of your short answers and stuff, there are a few requirements to meet if you want to pull for Alecino. But most of it is preference wise, actually. Right? Because you know Genshin is such an easy game at this point. Right? That it's come down to your preference. Which is why I talk about preference a lot. Right? Like if you don't enjoy the character, then you probably wouldn't really want to pull for them anyway. Okay. Nice. Bam. Bam, bam. Oh, wait one sec. Cool. What's up, Oni Chan? That's heavy on. From 1911 season, I mean, this this abyss is rather easy. Yeah, it's it's rather easy. What's up, Mosa? Glad to have you on. What's Chevrolet's mechanic? Chevrolet's mechanic is just like, you know, you're, you're putting in to her in, the, in an abyss team. Sorry, in an overload team. Right, basically Chevrolet's is just gonna be you in an overload team. That's it. You can only use Pyro and Electro character on the Chevrolet's team. Right, and uh, I mean, her, like, she's pretty good. But obviously not, not as good as some of the other meta teams. If you want to play Chevrolet's, you know, her own kit at C0 is already very much enough. And she's a pretty nice character to have, you know, fresh style of gameplay for you. And it feels pretty good sometimes, right? Because, you know, it kind of have a mix up of team game comp that you can play around with. So it highly depends on you. Uh, I'm just going to get some random team here at this point. Uh, man. What are some other characters? Bennett? Bennett's gonna help. Yeah. Like, your five stars guaranteed have Raiden have to pull for Overload, so best reaction should have pulled. Overload's not actually her best reaction anymore. From some of the testing that we've seen. I mean, most are very, very well known of uh, Chevrolet, uh, not Chevrolet, uh, of Alakino at this point. Right, and Overload is probably not going to be her best. It's going to be a team with um, Yelan, Kazuha, and Bennett.
To Christ, probably no skill issues. Dodge meta. Yeah. Dude, Alakino's gonna be eye framing meta for sure. <laughs> if you wanna have one of the best characters in the game to do well for you, it's gonna be like eye framing the <laughs> eye framing meta. Yeah, Chevrolet is so good at C6. But like, how many of us are going to be having a C6 Chevrolet anyway? Oh no, Yelan, you have to do the work. Well, there you go. I think that's good. Why does... Wait, it's not dead? And I missed that too. Dude, we're just messing around here. Why are you not dead? It takes so long. Hey, nice. Shavrus is a solo healer. So she just heals your on-field character. I mean, she's a pretty nice healer. Not too bad. Alright. Maybe maybe Chloran is gonna be even better. Yeah, I mean we we have basically no information on Chloran at this point, so we don't know. Can you stop, please, Bennett? Where's your burst? Come on. Oh good, only chat in a bit. I'll be clearing my abyss first. I'm just chilling in this abyss. Obviously, we have like, oh, like a few days before her official release, right? So we don't know exactly what she, um, what Alakino is like capable of yet, and what her best team are going to be yet officially. So next week, no, not wait, not next week, right? Like in two weeks' time, a week and a half. Um, we'll know for sure. Man, I keep on thinking that she's going to be coming next week, but she's not. Damn it. All right, Shouty. Yeah, Shouty is gonna be good here. Okay, okay. Wait, where's my Farzan? And Furina. Yep, there she is. Hmm. Maybe a team should be fine. Nine days. Yeah, around nine days. Around nine days. Basically, like a week and a half, technically. Ow. 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 Ow, we keep on missing that. Up, up, up. Alright, are you guys done yet? Please. Alright, Farina's gonna do the rest of the work. Ow. Okay. Nice. Alright. Nice. Stabilize. Umbrella warfare, I guess. 
Goodbye. Awesome. Okay. I like best vape team for now is I like Bennett, Yela, and Kazuya. Yes, that's basically her best team right now that we can think of. But obviously, how viable is that team? Is something we want to ask, right? <laughs> because I mean, on lower floor of the abyss, you might be able to clear very fast. But when you're on like floor twelve, chamber three of the abyss, that's going to be a totally different question. Are you going to be able to survive without a shield? Ow. Ow, okay, Shan Yun, your turn. Right, physical damage shout. Yep, awesome. What's up, Lennon? Glad to have you on. Oh, best team's overload. I mean, yeah, well, usually overload isn't on the best team. Like, it's it's very hard to compete with other teams, but in terms of viability, they, yes, it's, it's always going to be viable because of Shavu's, right? So, like, you don't always have to use the best team in order for you to do well, right? As long as the team is viable, I mean, yeah, it should be able to do you well. So, if you want to play Overload, then yeah, why not? If you have a Chevrolet build, then why not just use that, right? Because, like, it's it's not it's not all of the account you guys have Kazuya. Like, you guys don't always have Yelon, right? So, if you have a Chevrolet build, just go ahead and use Overload. Okay, right, let's get rid of that Phoenix, awesome. Zashev says that it's not the best team, yeah, I mean... Based on- Oh my god, wait, did- Wait, did she just literally die in one hit? My Farza literally just died in one hit. What? That doesn't sound good. Oh my god, this guy hit like a truck. This bit has 50% geo damage bonus. Oh, really? I- I didn't realize that. <laughs> Oh no, I don't have healing. Oh no. Karina's gonna help. Karina's not gonna help. Oh no. Sanjun, please. Please, Sanjun, come on. Dodge. Dodge. Alright. This feels like Alekino gameplay. Alright, there you go. Have a taste of Alekino gameplay a little bit without healing. My goodness me. Dude, she's gonna be shredded so fast whenever she comes up again to these guys. And then Shao's dead. Yeah, there you go. Dude, how, how's Alakino gonna survive this? Dude, this guy hits so hard. This guy like two shots you. And it's on floor 11. They're literally on floor 11. And my Sanjun healing capability is very good. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, iframe time. Let's go, please. No, please, one sec. Ow. They two shot Xianyun, bro. They two shot Xianyun. Well, thank God for that has a lot of HP. And imagine, guys, Alex Kino is an attack scaler. Therefore, you guys are going to be expecting around 17k for your for your Alekinos build. If you guys are maximizing your attack percentage. Otherwise, if you're lucky with HP on substats, you're, you're seeing around 20k. And Shao's getting shredded. My, okay, she's nearly dead. Oh my god. Yeah, imagine that. Try to iframe all of these guys. Ow. Stop. Wait, don't kill him. Please. Nuvle and Alkino is very different DPS playstyle. Yeah, completely different. Completely different. Sub, Alfie. Sub, Alfie. 
I mean, free to play Alekino cannot wipe them out before they wipe Alekino out. There's no way. It's not like, it's not like, it's not like F2P Alekino is able to do like 500k per hit. So there is no way. Those, those Hydro Monster is very tanky. That Shao team of mine was on a Furina C2. Uh, Farazan C6. And a very invested Xian Yun. Right? And it still took me around like almost a minute to clear that. So there's no way a, a free to play Alekino can wipe them out. Before they wipe out Alekino. There's no way. Right? So you're going to have to rely on iframe a lot. And dodging. Yeah. And dodging. So, yep. There's going to be Zhongli there. Which is going to tank your dps a little bit um i wouldn't say a little bit i say that's a very much tank in dps oh yeah and Xiao also had uh 800 base defense so his his defense was actually on the high side and he still gets shredded in two hits so yeah I imagine imagine alakina without a shield okay <laughs> mm. okay yeah dude she's gonna be a hell of a character to play it's like it's like Genshin in Genshin Impact is not giving us an end game. Where there's tougher content, they are just releasing tougher characters to play around with. So that's more like an end game and challenge for us. Right? I think I think they're doing a good move on that part. Knowing that many of you are gonna be loving Alekino and it's gonna pull for her. So they're kinda of giving you a challenge in the end game. Dude, look at those ice wind suit. There's no way Alekino is gonna survive those two dancing robots without a shield. Uh, Alright, um okay. Cool, one sec. Alright, which team did I want to play again? Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna use my highest HP team in the whole game. And we're just gonna play that. And then on the second one's probably just gonna go ahead and Navia. Oh Xiao, if I want to. Oh, I don't have Farina, so yeah, te technically not Xiao. Alright, Navia it is. Man, Navia is just such an important character. She's so nice. Yeah, right. Basically, at the end of the day, Genshin is an enjoyable game for you to play, right? So, guys, just just go ahead and pull for the character that you want. Okay, Yao Yao is just going to do the rest of the work running around on field. And I think we technically should be good. Oh no! Oh no! I missed that! Oh no! Wait one sec! Yeah, man. That was a missed part. What's up, Draco? Okay. Alright, and then we just run around again. Awesome, alright. Hey, wait, where are you two? Where are you two? I can't believe my Naida is almost dead again. Oh my god. Thank god Yao Yao healing capability is so good. Is Rina not back yet? One sec. We better keep our burst up for the next round. 
Does she have to uh, make a sustain tier list, you say? <laughs> Dory, oh, Dory in S tier, oh my god, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm also not very well versed in Dory's as well, so I don't actually know she was that, that good for this sustain. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't realize Dora is such good at sustain. Okay, right, cool. Not bad. 200k. Awesome. Alright, it's time for us to stack up our bursts. Awesome. Alright, goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Oh, did he mention about C6 Dory or was it a C0 Dory? Does Dory have team healed or was it like just an on field character heal? Sub Shinji. Yeah, I've been like, I, I neglected Dory for so long. I actually forgot about her. <laughs> it's been so long. Dory becoming meta and Natlin. I mean, I can't ever see anything that really requires, you know, insane sustain in Genshin Impact. Right? Unless... I mean, like, like as long as you have very good HP character, like a Nilu Bloom team, and you have enough healing, right? That's basically the only thing you need, right? Yao Yao's doing all the work already. Right? She just basically heals everything and then like all the new loot teams are just gonna attack the hit so well. Oh my god. Never mind what I just said. That's my bad. Okay, awesome. All right, we'll do that and then we'll get Purina to be on. Man, such a brain dead team, but I still need to iframe dodge. All right, are you guys here yet? bad all right now we are now he that first please oh uh step a burst uh nilu and uh, then yeah yeah awesome awesome all right that's a lot better Are you going to do something? Alright. Nice. Did I miss crit that time? I don't think I did. Oh my god. Alright. Where are you? We should have more than enough time. Coming at 
All right, time to stack up our burst. It's burst stacking time. There you go. This guy invalid? The link should work. If not, I think Alfie's gonna gonna drop you the link. Man, I need to play this properly. Please, Yao Yao, heal us. Please. Yao Yao, the healing Archon on our team. Please. Please. Somebody help. No! I didn't realize my team was actually that low. Okay, so Nilu has to be first. Right, we just set up Nilu first. Ow. One sec. No, one sec. Wait. Please, Yao Yao, where's your burst? Please, Yao Yao, your burst, please, 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 your burst. Please, 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 your burst, please. Alright, we are still surviving somehow, right? Now, she has a burst back, which is, no, don't die, please. Okay. Now it's heal. Are we able to actually heal? These things hit so freaking damn hard every single time. I can't believe my Nilu Bloom team is actually struggling. Alright, one sec. Now we are back? Please. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're healing as much as possible. Seems like she's out. Okay, we should be good. Not too bad. Wait one sec. Awesome. All right. Okay, let's do this. There you go. Did I actually miss that though? Second rotation. Nice. Awesome. Man, Navias is so good. I mean, she's good enough. Uh, Shanling back? Right, she should be back now. And then our third rotation. We should be good. There you go. Awesome. All right. That was a quick speed run. Obviously not the speed run we want, but quick enough for us to actually grab the all the premium gems we need. Seb Kakashi, how are you doing? You're at 1 a.m. Gigi. Oh my god. You're exactly 12 hours away from me. How are my pools doing? If you should go for Alakina weapon or her C1. I mean, I just recommend you try to get both her C1 and her weapon. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh... I mean, here's the thing. Obviously, uh, from, from my... Uh, you know, my prediction. Her C1 might actually be a little bit more important than her weapon if you have Staff of Homa. Right, if you're planning to give her the stuff of Homa, I think going for her C1 first, right? And then trying to get her weapon on her rerun might be a better choice. I mean, either way, if you're going for an Alekino, anyway, it feels like you're trying to go for Nuvalet, right? Investing in Nuvalet 
of his C1 and his weapon. Right, it does feel like that, but Alakito feels a little bit more reliant on her C1 because you don't really want to get her knocked back too much. That's one of the things. Right, and her C1 is boosts her damage so much. Right, and especially when you, if you have the whole Ma already or you have some really good free to play weapon, you, just, you can just get her C1 first and then get her weapon on her rerun. It's 8 a.m. for you, Mickey. Got you. Your DMs? Oh, good. Oh, good. I have a look at your DMs, Yunji. Alright. Now, let's see. One sec. I'm just gonna leave this here. Man. Right. Either way, let's do... Wait. Yeah, I haven't, do, I haven't done the pool for so long. Let's do a pool. Four star. Any any constellations? Good constellation would be fine, please. Oh yeah, not oh stringless. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, the chronicle banner's gone. Wait, really? How long does the chronicle banner actually last? That's so weird. Wait, chronicle banner only lasts a wait a few weeks. I didn't realize that, dude. Man, I thought Chronicle Banner would just stay for the whole patch like a, a standard banner. Only for 29 days. You only have Sky with Spine. I see. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. I mean, yeah, Sky with Spine wouldn't be too good. So you can just, if you have enough of a weapon, like a Kakashi, I really recommend if you like, you must be sure that you have, have enough pity for pulling for a weapon. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend you to actually try and risk losing two pity and then not getting her weapon. Guaranteed. Right? So if you know that you have her weapon guaranteed, just go ahead and pull for a weapon first. Right, so Chronicle Band is only on the first phase, I see. Yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. I will be doing UID reviews a bit now. So if you guys want me to have a look at your UID, right? Uh post it in chat. I'll have a look in a few. Remember, I can only look into Asia on my UID for the time being and have a slash between the middle of your UID so that I can see your UID in chat. You have Calamity and Scout Spine. That's interesting. You have the White Tassel. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It is free to play at the end of the day. Okay, Odi-chan. One okay, one sec. Throw on some music. Awesome. Okay, so ah, uh, interesting to see your Mia here in Ayato. All right, all right. Let's have a look at Oni Chan. See, ready. I sound cute saying Oni Chan. My God. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a pretty good Ayato. On a Jade Cutter, okay, okay. Jade Cutter do give you quite a lot of crit rate too, so let's see your RFX. You are on um, Hydro, okay. Cool. Could have been a little bit better, but I think that's fine. Pretty good. Okay. You invest a lot into your Ayato, don't you? Oh, okay, you do have 12% crit rate. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Not too bad. It is Hydro Damage Bones. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Alright, like, pretty good. Jade Cutter. Are you going to be pulling for Ayato's weapon, the Haran? Okay, might be a little bit low on crit, uh, crit damage, but she saw the Unforge. Oh, I see. All right. That's actually pretty nice. 80%. Yeah, nice. She's on interesting. Okay. 
yeah, pretty good to mix up a two piece. Like to ensure your crit value. You got two venti five star weapon. Two venti five star weapon? You mean Sky with Harp? So you tried to pull for Ayato weapon and ended up getting two Sky with Harp. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, the allergy. I see, I see. That's a pretty good piece, yeah. Alright. Pretty nice. Not bad. Energy recharge too, yeah. Navia needs a little bit of energy recharge. She does. Her burst is just so important. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean you're doing a two mix of a two piece, so that's kinda nice. Okay, uh 70%, I think that's fine. A little bit low, but you can get away with it. Depending on your team, if you have enough um Favonius weapon series to back that up for you. Is it the allergy good? The allergy is one of the best bows in the game. Ah, that's a pretty good shout. Okay, on J Spear, on Stop of Hobart, okay. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, two piece mix, same as mine. Nice. That's a very nice piece. Man. Okay. Alright, that's a very nice piece. Cool. 16% energy recharge. You're still getting both crit damage crit rate. Nice. Chow's having enough energy recharge, nice. Okay, obviously it can be better. It went a lot into defense. Yeah, and you get some low roll onto crit rate too. That kind of sucks. But I think, yeah. Okay, 132. Okay, I think that's fine now. Yeah. We find energy with getting Yelan next. Oh, you haven't got Yelan. Yeah, good luck getting Yelan, man. She's so good. You have two Rapu save. I'm got uh, um, Hurt and Weapon both. Oh, nice. I. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Good luck getting, you know, C0 and Weapon early. So you may be able to actually potentially go ahead and pull for a C1. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Right? Nice, your Mia. Right? Thundering Pulse. On a Shimna was it? Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, nice piece. How long have you guys been farming for all of your artifacts? Cool. Okay. Nice. Alright. Cool, cool. Dude. So high crit rate. Okay, Furina. She's on... What is she going to be on? She is on the pipe. Alright. Hour 73. Yeah. E-skill. Cool. Okay. A little bit high on energy recharge. I don't think you need this much. Considering how, how, how much energy recharge the, the pipe is giving her. Right? So... Technically speaking, she doesn't need this much on, on, on paper, right? You can get away with around 140% energy recharge, right? And you can actually stack more onto a grid damage, right? So this piece here, I can actually take away all of the energy recharge numbers and try to stack as much crit damage as you can, right? So that's, that's what I'll personally do because because Korea doesn't actually need that much energy recharge, guys. She only has like 60 energy requirement. Um, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. HP. Awesome. Alright, that was a little bit high on defense, but... We can get away with that. Cool, not too bad. Not too bad. Overall, I think it's fine. Her crit damage can be a little bit better. Right, she can get... Yeah, you can actually get roughly 200% with this. But if you want to invest into her or not, that's totally up to you. Zhang Li, very easy to build. This is on a Jade Spear.
Pierre Jean Lee. Okay, interesting. Are they 43k? Right. That this should be on the full HP build. A geo damage bonus? HP, okay. Alright. I think if you're if you're having Jade Spear here, I think having Geo Damage bonus can slightly be better. But this PC is just so good, so yeah, you're just gonna keep it anyway. Alright, Kazia, a thousand EM? Yep. On a Cypher's Moodlight. Awesome. Triple EM build then. Nice. Great. Awesome. That's a very nice piece. If it had more crit rate, oh my god. Ah, New Vlad. Is he on his weapon? Okay, on Lost Prayer. Pretty good. Okay. Man, Lost Prayer is actually very good for the New Vlad. He can, he can make use of Lost Prayer so well. Just 80? Sabaka. That's a nice piece. That's a nice piece. Okay. Alright. EM2. Cool. Okay. Hydro damage bonus. Oh my god, look at that. Man, if we had if we had crit rate, dude, that's gonna be awesome. But you do have energy recharge in the EM, so overall that's perfect. Okay, and ah, oh, it missed a lot on crit rate. Yeah, this piece can easily be fixed. It's so easy to fix this piece. Right, so we can expect his crit rate to be a lot higher. However, he is already on the Hunter set, so... Yeah, overall, he technically is fine. Right. Man, if, he, if you had, like, a crit damage weapon for him, I think that would be so good, too. Fix his uh, crit rate a little bit more, and then having a crit damage weapon, and you're seeing around 300% crit damage for New Blade. Yeah. Overall, very good characters. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look next. I'll look at uh, Rush Veer. Let's have a look at yours. 8, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Alright, Josh. Rush, I mean. Raiden. Nice Raiden. Okay, engulfing lightning. Yep. This is at the very least for an engulfing lightning build. Okay. Man. Dude, you're so you're you're lucky with these pieces. Crit rain, crit damage. So good. Okay. That's energy recharge too. Nice. Very good. Energy recharge. Oh my god, I can see why this is here. Okay. Alright. Dude, her artifacts is insane. It kind of sucks that this, if this was on electro damage bonus, that'd be even better. But either way, it's still good. Right, and this piece we've seen, very nice. Oh my, what? Are the rest of the character going to be C6? Are the rest gonna be C6? Oh my god. Oh crap, a C6 Yai Miko. Okay. Dude. I shrimp for Yai Miko so much. Am I am I a C4? I mean I don't need a C6 anymore, but seeing a C6 Yai Miko just makes my heart feel good. <laughs> right? Yai Miko deserves to have constellations. <laughs> for some reason, I, I just love it. Okay. Dude, she's gonna deal a hell of a damage here. Holy crap, okay. Alright, R1, okay, cool. Okay, let's have a look at her artifacts. Nice. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. This piece, nice. Attack, okay, on and attack build. Decent. Can slightly be better, it went a lot into her HP percentage. But I know it can be hard to farm this again, but if you want, I think it's fine. I mean, you're already at the C6 Yai Miko. I she probably don't really care too much about maximizing crit value at this point. Dude, she's just gonna shred everything on field. 
h of h of our e skill hit is probably going to be around 90 to 100k with this with this build All right she should she should be doing roughly 300k for three of our e skill roughly 300k All right so good she's a hyper carry in the abyss i mean she's a hyper carry that doesn't even need to be on field Right? If, if you want to be a heifer on field, yeah, you can have a team build that have Jai Miko as an on field driver. But at this point, her, like her sexual Sakura is just gonna shred everything. <laughs> That's the power of Jai Miko when you invest into her constellation. The Jai Miko C0 just sucks so bad. But as long as you invest in, into her constellation, she's a, a completely different character. Right? She just sit off field and deals damage. She's so powerful. Right? Jean. This is... My god, Miss Splitter Jean C6. Yeah, there you go. I mean, considering how many characters C6 you have pulled. Like, standard banner characters should be around C6 on your account. Okay. Great, great. Damage. Nice piece. Okay. Okay. Cool. We lag a little bit. Crit rate. And it goes a little bit to your defense. But I think that's fine. Damn, that's like almost a maximum roll onto that crit damage here. Wow. Okay. I think the maximum is like 39.4 or something. But you're already like at 39 at this point. Okay, pretty good. Attack. Crit rate. Okay. Pretty much a DPS gene. Like DPS gene does so much damage. You know what build you, uh, you should use on Jean? I mean, this is a build you can use on her. Yeah. Just attack. Yeah, just stack attack onto her and you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, manager. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> At least. Alright, C6 on you? Yeah, man. Alright, Amos Bow. Alright. Perfect. Awesome. Slightly low on the crit rate, 56% and she might miss crit a little bit sometimes, but overall I think that's fine. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah. One sec. Okay, pretty good. Tech. Nice piece. I can see why you're a bit low on crit rate. Yeah. But overall, very good already. C6 gone you. There you go. Awesome. Your, your account almost said $5,000. That's it. $5,000. Yeah, I think I think my account is close to $5,000 here. So I mean, if you look at it, content creators usually put around that much. Yeah. Right, because considering like pool for some constellation costs you around a thousand dollars. That was an attack sound. Yeah. All right, Eula, CC Eula. Man, okay. I feel sorry a little bit for Eula because she just falls behind so much. There's no buff to her physical. You did 2k damage one time using Ganyu? 2k damage or 200k? Okay, nice piece. Yula is one of your favorite. Yeah, Yula is also one of my favorites too. But yeah, since it's one of my favorite, I just feel sorry for her. In terms of meta wise. But either way, if you want to play her, she's still very good. If you, you know, time her burst correctly, right? She can still help you clear content. She does need, you know, some good teammates to help her out here and there. But either way, there's still an inherently bad character in Genshin Impact. If you, if you build and invest into them and have their right support teammate, they can still do very well. Okay, nice. Awesome. Alright. Yep. Max Talent, C6 Zhongli. 
right? We just assume that staff of Homer, right? Oh, a C2, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I think C6 Zhongli actually helps you, but I don't think how much of a benefit C6 Zhongli actually helps you either way. You see, my type, man, GG, if you've been following me for a long time, you, you, you probably all know that my type's Kuching type. That's the only type I'm inherently in. Right? I mean, I have, I have, you know, I have a, I have an other character that I really, really love in Genshin is Furina. Right? After, you know, going through Furina quests, I'm pretty sure everyone loves Furina. Okay, nice. Cool. Overall, yeah, very good. Is this Nahida C6? Okay. That's a C2 Nahida. Either way, she still shred everything. C2 Nahida still shred everything, man. Like, she's one, like C2 is one of the best C2 constellation in the game. So, uh, in terms of crit value, still a little bit low. But that will still do. Your time's Risley. Um, Jenny, I can only do UID Asia account review, right? But I can, I will hop on to directly other accounts and have a look into the account directly. And then I can do other servers account review. What's up, TMT? Glad to have you on. Good night, Jinji. Go to bed. It's almost 2 a.m. your time. Get some healthy sleep. Oh, this is R2. Nice. Okay. Oh, good, Jenny. The bed is still uh, park at C5. <laughs> yeah. I mean, many of you guys still park at C5. I have a C6 a long time ago because I have to do content regarding a C6 bandit. Okay, lacks a little bit in crit rate, but I think that's fine. Cool, that's good. EM, nice. Okay, pretty good. It lacks a little bit of crit rate, otherwise... Okay, cool. Yeah, right. EM too. Right. I think we can actually lower this crit rate a bit, because technically speaking, uh, Nahida gives you an extra 24% from her passive. So you guys just go around 40% crit rate and try to get more crit damage here and then Nahida's gonna be even better. Oh, she's sitting at 600 EM. I see, right? Yeah. I mean, if you want to invest more into Nahida Constellation, try to get more EM onto her artifacts too, I think that's totally fine. But I mean, your account's more than good enough, so you don't really have to invest into crit, uh, your, your artifacts too much either way. Oh my god, look at that. Holy crap. Yep. R1, this is on a hunter set. Just seeing at the third 300 and a basically a 90% crit rate. Nilvla shreds everything at this point. A C1, okay. Alright. Crit damage, cool. Very good. Yeah, I can see dude. Nilvla artifacts are so good. Look at that. Almost hit a 30% on a crit rate piece. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, either way, very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. You will see 6 in the next rerun? Awesome. Good luck getting C6 Nida. Early. So you don't spend too much money. And save for other C6 character too. But overall, very nice account. Yeah, really appreciate you showing us. Alright. Awesome, I can do one more UID and then I'll hop on to specific account review. Okay, I will do Ashu's account. All right, I choose the cow. Awesome. Okay, we have, we're we're seeing Ito, we're seeing Fischl, and we're seeing Bennett. That's that's interesting, All right? You said you your account was free to play. Okay, let's have a look at Raiden. All right, that's a little bit low crit rate. 
Okay, a little bit too high and crit damage otherwise. We would like to actually see. I see now. Okay, yeah, never mind that. Yeah, never mind that. I think you're good. Uh, 12% is around 60. Okay. Um, now, energy recharge is actually low now. We would love to see a lot more energy recharge here. At least around 250% if you're able to get that. But if you can't, I think that's totally fine. Okay, nice. Pretty good. Can be slightly better, but I think that's totally fine. Uh, I can see why you're lacking energy recharge. This piece can easily be fixed. I think I'd recommend you to get energy recharge in this piece. Right? Like, 10% crit rate, you can easily fix that. So, I know it's going to be a little bit hard if you farm further, right? You might have, haven't gotten an energy recharge piece, that's why you're using an attack percentage piece. But I do recommend you to, to, to just go ahead and use an energy recharge piece here. Okay, nice. One sec. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, crit damage. Nice, nice. Okay, there you go. That's a C3 rating on an F2P account, right? There you go, guys. If you if you just save for character, uh, you can easily get Constellation all the way up to C3, right? Free to play gameplay, right? I mean, as long as you don't be tempted to pull on most of the character, you should be able to have enough. <laughs> Being a PC, so maybe download cash in Android. <laughs> Put a lot of money in Genshin. I mean, yeah, I think I think it can be worth it if you get a PC. Yeah. All right, nice raid in Shogun. Okay, cool on the Miss Splitter. There you go, nice. Awesome. Very nice piece. Look at that. That's an amazing piece. Okay, nice. That's that percentage, yes. Pretty good. Uh okay, nice. Awesome. Yeah, like on, on a cryo set blizzard strayer, that is a very good piece. Look at that. She's almost hitting 300 percent Yeah, that's nice. A little bit low energy recharge, but I know you guys are doing Yo, you guys are building on on a on an on field charge tech Ayaka gameplay, but her burst is just equally important. So, I mean, if you can you know slot in any kind of energy recharge here and there so that you can use her burst more frequently, that's gonna be more beneficial for Ayaka as well. Like, yeah, so don't neglect her energy recharge when you're building uh, Ayaka. Right. Well, her burst does a lot of damage. Ciao. Okay, Jade Spear, Homa, awesome. Okay, sacrificing four piece bonus for a well built shell. I see. I mean, personally, I think since you're using a mixed build, going for a two piece build for a two attack percentage or either Anubo and attack percentage up, you should be easily able to cover these crit values. Yeah, but either way, it takes a lot. To farm again, right? I mean, this piece can be improved. Right, one piece can be improved. That's a nice piece, yeah. Right, so the only thing with this piece is that if you if you swap this piece with an um, Shimanawa circlet crit damage, and you try to get crit rate here again, I think that's totally going to be fine because your other three substats aren't actually that great. So you can get, so you can still get like 80% attack bonus from all that. And potentially get more crit rate from there too. Like who knows, right? Who knows? But either way, that's an easy fix, which is a good thing. Right? That's, that's a, that's a pretty easy fix. Okay. Nice. Nice shout. Fischl, how are we doing? It's so long since we've seen Fischl. Okay. She doesn't need energy recharge. I know, like, even even though she's on a 5 bow and then she's going to be there to help your team's sparkle-wise, but having energy recharge on Fischl is just a waste. Right, it's, it's pretty much a waste since you can actually invest more into her crit damage and try to get her all the way to 200%. Right, uh, obviously that depends on whether or not you have good weapons. 
Right. Okay, two piece, um, okay, just two piece set. Nice, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, you are on the free to play account, so I can understand that it takes a lot of grinding day by day to, you know, get these perfect artifacts. So, yeah, I, I understand that. It will take time for you to fix all these. Oh, look at that. That's an energy recharge sand. So let's be swap with Raiden. I can see that Raiden attack sands is better. Actually, maybe not that much. Oh, but it doesn't have crit rate. Yeah, it, it's not crit damage. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, pretty nice piece. Nice piece. Yeah, overall, I think that's fine. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. But like, yeah. You can easily fix this, right? You don't need, like, this basically take all her energy recharge out. Right? And stack everything into crit damage. And she's gonna be a lot better. Alright, and then just give a bonus bow to other character that you may need. Right? And yeah, just, just give her stringless too. Right? If you have stringless, right? And she has more EM, that's gonna be so powerful. Right? Cops, I can't do any more UID today because I have some account afterwards. Okay, Ito, not too much build. Cool, uh, decent weapon for him. Nice, yep, he's not too much build, but let's have a look either way. Nice. Cool, not bad. Pretty nice, yeah. Pretty nice, I mean... Okay, yeah. That piece can be fixed. He doesn't need HP, yeah. I mean, I would think, yeah, I, I, unless you really love Iso, you just don't invest into this artifact domain. Right? He, he can stay there for a while, and then you can actually go ahead and fix some of your other character first. Okay, new roulette, that's a good new roulette. Okay, you pull for his weapon, nice. Okay. Awesome. Good piece. Okay, pretty nice. That's, that's not bad actually. Okay. Decent. It can be better. It went a lot into defense. But I think it's fine. Damage, cool. Nice, nice. You do have HP. Wait, are you free to play? Okay, so I see. Okay, oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Okay, wait. I can't be. Okay, so you literally save for over a year. It's pro. Dude, that's probably not even a whole year. Like, I mean, that's way more than a year. You should be saving for like over a year and a half. Right, you should be saving for a whole, like, two, a year and a half at the very least to get this number of pools for a C6 R1. <laughs> right, yeah, at, at least a whole year. At least a whole year without pooling on absolutely nothing. That's insane. Right, I admire. You know, I admire your motivation to actually save for the best character in the game without knowing... Without knowing that this good of a character is coming down the line. I mean, we can kind of already guess, right? I think you were saving for the Hydro Archon, were you? But then Nuvale actually showed up and he's, he turned out to be so good. <laughs> right. Right, I mean, well, at least that was worth it. Yeah, dude, look at that. Now this, now dude, this new village is gonna spin bot everything in the game. This, now this is like a freaking cheating new village at this point in time for a free to play account. <laughs> right? <laughs> you wait for the best DPS. So yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why. That's the absolutely only reason why you should be, uh, saving up. Without pulling for any other character. 
Yeah, one of the most patient Genshin player I've seen uh, from all of my account reviews, yeah. I mean, yeah, like... That's down to you, that's good. Nice new Vlad. I mean, like, if... Okay, so here's the thing. If you already invest this much into your new Vlad, then therefore your crit damage is actually quite low. Okay, okay. I mean, if you want to invest more into your new Vlad, he can be around, right? Three over three hundred percent. If you want, right? If you want, because some of these pieces can be better, right? If you want to like some of the, being some of the best new Vlad for a free to play account, right? You can invest more into it. But I mean, I I mean, yeah, like. I, I, I still believe you're free to play. The reason being is because you only have Raiden and Ayaka. Right? You pretty much didn't showcase any Sumeru character. So I would be assuming that you almost put for no one in Sumeru. Otherwise, you should have already presented some Sumeru character. Because usually people show Nahida. But I don't see Nahida here. Right? I only see Inazuma character. Right? Those are the only characters I see. Guys, you, you even have a C3 Raiden. Look at that. Yeah, but I would recommend you to get Farina too for a new blood. And especially since you're free to play and you really want to get maximized, you know, for new Vlad team, I would actually recommend you to try and get a C2 R1 Farina. Right? Since you since you're already investing this much, why not just go all the way and get the best of the best? Right? Why not just go ahead and do that? Right, so C2 Farina for a C6 Nublet is going to be a very good, very good thing. Right? Law accurate Nublet. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Ashu, how many, how many pools were you at when you were, when you were pulling for Nublet? Yeah, I'm actually curious how many pools it takes you to actually get a C6 Nublet. Saving for the Pyro God. Makes sense, makes sense. That might make sense, yeah. Pyro God. Dude, changing his history is gonna take so long. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Nearly 700 pools. Yeah, I think that's about right. That's roughly the pool you need. Yeah. My God, hats down to you, bro. That's so good. So good. Kazia, okay. Nice. Free to play Kazia is so easy to build. Bennett. As you recharge to 10 on a sky with blade. Okay, cool. He's gonna be pretty much a healer set, isn't he? Okay, so he's not maxed out on the sands, which is I mean it's fine, you just line it there. Yeah, overall. Yeah, C3, that's totally fine. Dude, that's that's amazing. <laughs> Bro, Kamikaze, you don't remember our Pyro God? It's Shang Ling, yeah. But man, I'd be, I'd be sorry for Murata if, you know, the Pyro Archon didn't actually go ahead and beat Shang Ling. That would be so sad. Yeah. Dude, that was insane. That was so good. Appreciate that. Thanks for letting us see. Man, how long have it, I haven't claimed my mail for the whole week? And then this is how much I get? Awesome, okay. Oh good. Alright guys, let's have a look into specific account reviews. I already got some set up right now. So I will be back in one minute time.
All right, we're back. This is Mickey's account. Thank you so much, Mickey, for letting us hopping on your account. Let's have a look at yours. I think Mickey should be in chat right now. Okay, let's have a look at your account. So you've already basically cleared the abyss. So what we'll do is, oh my god, how many? Wait, how, how much is that money? Thirteen million. Okay, yeah, well, when, when you don't build a character for so long, that's how much money you get <laughs> in your bank account. Dude, Paimon's never gonna run out of stuff to eat. Okay, cool, those are pretty decent number of five-star pools. Nice. Pretty good, like... Most of the characters have access to some of the best weapon that they want. So that's nice. Awesome. Okay, let's have a look at your characters. Resin Max already? Wow. Most most of the account has their Resin Max. Too lazy to farm artifacts. I mean me too. <laughs> I just farm I just farm the bare minimum for the artifacts and then I'm done. The best character in my account is C2 Farina. C2 Farina is so good, my god. Yeah. If you have an R1, C2 Farina too, that's that's very good. I mean yeah, this is a good artifact built new Vlad already. Right. Okay. Cool. As you recharge, lacks a little bit in uh, crit damage, but either way, I think that's fine. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Uh, C one new blade too. At that. Okay. Cool. Very built new blade. How's uh a thousand yen on a um freedom sword. Nice. The free Freedom Sword still looks it's still one of the best looking swords in the game. This looks so good. Yeah, it fits in perfectly as well. Okay, nice. Cool. EM on everything. Energy recharge, nice. Damage. EM, nice. Yeah. That's that's the least you expect from all the game EM pieces. Visual. Wait one sec. I wanna have a look. Komi is so easily built. She's on the three tails. Yeah. Shenhe. Okay, that's a C zero Shenhe on the Skyward Spine. I see. All right. Mm, everything should be an attack. Do you have a two hundred or three hundred in total? I mean, yeah. I think the maximum right now is a thousand five hundred. Right. You can't do this abyss 
skill issues. I mean, as long as you have your DPS in place and you don't get knocked, you know, you don't you don't get one shot. This abyss is pretty easy. You don't really have to do anything much. Because this abyss is actually a DPS check, right? If you have good DPS in this abyss, you should be able to clear it, no problem. Because this abyss is easier than the last one. Right? The last abyss where we had like two freaking worm, that's a skill issue. This abyss is not a skill issue, it's just a DPS check. Right, so you just invest as much as you can into your DPS and your team doing numbers, and that's it, right? We don't, we don't even have any enemies that have access to shield. So you don't need to care about shield breaking either. Right? Awesome, okay. Oh, that's a decent piece for her. Attack, okay. We're, we're getting a lot more crit values number than attack percentage. So she's at 3.4k, that makes sense. Usually we want around 3.9, but either way that's fine. Um, this energy recharge is a little bit low. So I either recommend you to actually give her Favonius Lance, because it does have her give her the ability to potentially get more particles. Because I mean, like, Shenhe doesn't need crit values if you're building her, right? She, she's not doing numbers anyway, so the only thing she needs is literally art of, uh, attack percentage and energy recharge. Right, so that's basically it. Okay, nice. You invest a lot. Fenty, your best character is Navia. Navia is so good, man. Navia is an amazing free-to-play character as well. She's like easy to play at this point in time because we don't really have any Geo check in the Abyss yet. So Navia is just still roaming free, doing her own thing. Okay, nice, nice. EM, Anibal damage, cool. Nice, nice, that's actually pretty nice. It's been so long, oh, that's a C1 Venti. Man, you invest into a C1 Venti, that's nice. <laughs> Still, Venti is well, some of the worst constellations in the game, right? I mean, unless uh, C6 is okay, but like, dude. Like, you get a 4 piece VB for a C6. It's not even 4 piece VB. I need more shred, right? So, Venti can be on the Shao team, but why you want that? Nahida, okay, nice. A 600 uh, on a Sack Fragment, awesome. Okay. Who? Cool. Decent piece. Yeah, it does have crit rate. This piece can be a lot better, obviously, because it's a four star piece. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice piece. Energy recharge, guys. Nahida doesn't actually need energy recharge, guys. So we can actually get away with that. Okay, this piece can be a lot better. We don't need this much energy recharge. So, the thing is with Naida, look guys, she only needs 50 energy cost. So that's basically almost, if not just basically the same as character with a 40 energy cost, right? These characters don't need energy recharge because they're just going to self-sustain throughout the rotation. And especially when Naida has like, what, eight, what, around 15 second burst up time. Right? It's a very long time, right? It's a very long time, burst up time. So she's just going to be able to self-sustain her energy recharge very easily. You don't need to worry about her energy recharge not being up. So you can, we can sacrifice that and try to slot everything into her crit value. That's going to be infinitely better. Am I streaming on Twitch as well? I'm only streaming on YouTube right now. Because most of you guys, you know... My audience, you guys who are watching me, watch on YouTube, right? If I stream on Twitch, like, nobody's gonna watch. Uh, you got two in the tent pool? Oh, you got two of Venti in the tent pool? Oh my god. Right, have a build, neither. I mean, overall, she's fine. Yeah. Man, I mean, at this point in time, your account has just so many characters, so, so good already that you don't actually need to invest in too much, but you got so good 5-star roster already. Deathmatch, yeah. 
Awesome. Okay, Shangli is so easy to build. Jet Spear? Yeah. Okay, Vermilion set. I haven't heard of the new Spiral Abyss rumor. What what would that be? Okay, crit damage. Cool. Nice. Not bad. Shaw wants energy recharge. So a 10% here is kind of fine. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, overall, C0. Do you have a Sian Yun for him? You don't have a Sian Yun. Makes sense. Not really required if you don't want too much to actually go ahead and build him. Cool, nice. Yeah, Jin is not too much to build, but C2 Jin is perfect. Right? DPS John Lee, I mean, John Lee is, you know, he can easily be built onto a, a DPS build, so it's fine. Did you hit which set? You mean this set? Oh, right. Ayato set. Now, not technically the best Ayato set, but. For current reviews, guys, just go ahead and do. Um, Go on to my Discord server and you can actually schedule it there. There'll be a channel. Yeah, but either way guys, C2 Gene is still very, very important. Right? Right? Um, because Gene wants to be on a Farina team. Right? And many of the time, Farina is going to be on a team that uses... Uh, your DPS uses normal attack. Right? So attack speed increase will help here. Which is a nice addition. Obviously, it's not a must, but if you do have a C to G, that's nice. Okay, that's actually a little bit too low on the crit rate side. I know that Blizzard Australia gives you crit rate, but that's a little bit too low. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You want a little bit more crit rate though. Roughly 20 more percent. I can see why, okay. Personally, uh, yeah, like you want crit damage for her, but... I mean, yeah, well, at the end of the day, if you're if you're too lazy... If you're too lazy farming for more crit rate on, on, on Ayaka, I think that's totally fine. I know I hate that domain too, but the thing is that you can actually use the artifact strongbox now. Right? You get 55% crit rate, yes, but it's not always. Right? You have to be on in under certain certain condition. Right? So it's not always a hundred percent. Right? So we want usually you build around a 40% crit rate Ayaka. Right? And even like even on a 55% crit rate, that is still considered to be a low on the crit rate side. You want at least 60% above. To be considered to be a good build. Okay, decent Raiden, engulfing lightning, yep. Cool. Oh my, that lacks a little bit crit damage. Kinda sucks, but you do it, it went most of it onto crit rate, so I think that's fine. Okay, no crit damage either. Everything is going into crit rate. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I understand why she's seeing on this, but obviously we want a little bit more crit damage. I also didn't have much luck in terms of uh, the Amplified set, so I I know how it feels. <laughs> Strongbox hates you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that goes with Gacha. I mean, like, you just have to keep on farming. Yeah. It's It just goes to luck, dude. It goes so much to luck. Right, let's have a look. Ayato. Oh, nice Ayato. My god. Now that's a little bit too high crit rate. Oh my god. Right, you want more crit damage here. Are you using a crit rate, Soglet? No way, right? Okay. That's that's decently high crit damage, okay. So you want a crit damage circlet here? 
<laughs> but either way, like basically a hundred percent, like ninety percent crit rate here is just so good already. Very consistent. Nice Ayato. Okay, cool. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. C0. Max out the Haran. Dude, that's so nice. I know, yeah, I feel sorry for Ayato. Man, Ayato Ayato's one of the worst Hydro characters now. It's sad for him. Yelan, one of the best Hydro. There you go, Aqua. Dude. C2 Yelan's well. Oh my goodness me. Right, I mean, yeah, you can slack off in artifacts farming now because your characters are so powerful. Right? It's like giving, giving, giving the Genshin monster a rest. <laughs> Dolphins and World Genshin accounts just like deleting them all the time. So give those monsters a rest. All right, Chow, not using too much. Wait, is this is this Amos Bow fight? Oh. Oh, this is how Amos Bow look before it was... Ah, uh, before it changed color. I was like, is my game glitching out? Why is Amos Bow purple? And I, I totally forgot. I have no recollection about Amos Bow being this color because I got Amos Bow in patch 1.0 and I immediately refined it to max level. So I've never actually seen an under-refined Amos Bow ever since. <laughs> it actually looks pretty nice though right purple okay i know you don't use child right looking at him dude look at this this number aren't usable d look okay not using him a lot either aren't you c3 d look nice right so are there are there any other characters that you're building at this point in time i'm seeing that you do have a level 90 elissa Interesting. On this sack fragment EM build? Yeah. I mean she's not even that build either. C2 Lisa is actually pretty fire. Yeah. Right. But like are there are, are there any other character that you want me to look into specifically? Because I think your account is actually very good already. Right? The amount of five star weapon you've got, dude. This like this is more than enough to the rest of the game. Do I build Kaya? All right. All right. Let's have let's have a look at some Kaya team. Obviously, Miss Splitter is going to be for Kaya, right? Right, because you're not going to be using both Ayaka and Kaya at the same time. So just go ahead and give him Miss Splitter. I mean, either way, Kaya artifacts is still going to be very easy, right? You either go with Blizzard Strayer, right? Uh, Emblem of Fate is also pretty good. Um, I generally wouldn't recommend Emblem of Fate, right? I'd rather just go ahead and Blizzard Strayer, right? Because he doesn't need that much energy recharge, so stacking too much energy recharge onto him is just kind of like a waste, right? That's going to be a little bit too much of a waste. So you would prefer having other stats onto him. <laughs> Kaya was carrying you until AR 50, uh, 50 and then he got benched. Yeah, I feel you. That's how it is with Kaya. Okay, okay, right. Let's go ahead and uh, go with Blizzard Strayer. I mean, like, just give Ayaka artifacts onto uh, Kaya. That's the, that's the thing you can do. Very easily build. Oh, C5. Man, good luck getting a C6. C6 uh, Kaya is so good. Alright, maximize his talent. Uh, Kaya team is actually pretty easy to build. I mean, like, getting a C6 Kaya uh, would actually be easy for you now because Kaya should be back into the shop. 
Is he, is he in the shop right now? Who's in the shop? Right? Because the thing is, you can't buy Constellation here. Right? Wait for Kaya to be back and then just buy him off of this. Right? You have 65 stock there. So yeah, C6 Kaya wouldn't be out of reach for you. Yeah, right? I miss Cryo too. Dude, Froki. Right. I miss Cryo so much because Cryo is just, you know, out of the meta right now. It's so sad. So sad. Like, we never use Cryo anymore. All right, uh, team build for Kaya. Let's see. Water comes in many I mean, obviously, melt Kaya is going to be the best, right? <laughs> right. Let's go ahead with this. Ready when you are. Why not? All right, give this team, dude. Just give this team like one of the best priority. Uh, melt, melt Kaya team. Let's see if there's any other. Uh, if you want a free seam, yeah, definitely uh, activate. Oh, you don't have free now. I never realized that. Yeah, actually, they did realize you didn't have free now. Uh, freeze. I wouldn't want Coco over here. How's our, how's our cryo healer? You, you want me on your team? Definitely wouldn't really work, so... We don't really want double hydro. The hunt begins. Uh, sometimes if we had Charlotte, that would be fine. Yeah, she forgot about Aloy, man. It's Aloy character. Oh my god. Uh, uh when the base gonna change in two weeks? Uh, sorry, in three weeks time. Yeah, because next oh wait not not two not not three weeks time basically uh in two days right but it's still going to be the same abyss but if you're referring to abyss change completely for the floor 12 then you still have to wait for an extra how many two weeks around two weeks and a half right oh good mikey it's all good but like, yeah, I think your account is good enough. Like, Kaya team is just so easy to build. You can play around with that. Right? Uh, your account is already very good enough. So, whichever character you're pulling for next, I do wish you good luck. Right? I do wish you good luck on that. The water possesses a depth of flavor unlike any other. Sumeru's water... We get Aloy C1 when Genshin goes to PS6 in the five years time. Yeah. <laughs> that would make sense, dude. Need Alakino? Alright, good luck with that. Yeah, I realize you don't have Futao or many Pyro characters, so Alakino is going to be perfect. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Awesome. Alright, all good. Mickey, thank you very much for letting us hopping on your account. That was lovely. Let's hop on to the next account. But you have no wishes. Maybe, who knows? Maybe you get lucky. Maybe you get lucky.
Okay. This is Blaze account. Awesome. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's have a look. You are... You're a 33 star. Are you having a trouble... Uh, clearing the abyss right now? I see you have a free you now. You have a Kuxing on the Zhongli team. Interesting. That's 10x faster than how you log in? Really? Really? Interesting. Okay, you're missing out one star on each of the chamber. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. How How's your challenge summary? 35? Last time? Okay, yeah, you should be able to get 35. Yeah, because this abyss is actually very easy. Okay, okay, let's have a look. Okay, free to play account, I think. Quality, you do have a new valet. You do have a Navia. XO, uh, whenever, whenever I'm ready for your account review, I will let you know. Yeah, but you need to schedule your account reviews into the server first. Never got 36 star before. It brought bypass a few times. I see, I see, gotcha. All right. Um. So I think your team is going to be very good. Now, if you want to clear the abyss this time around for 36 star, here's the possible team that you can run. That's one team. I will borrow a team of yours. Wait, wait, one sec. I can actually just go ahead and add. Alright. And then the other team, which is the second phase, obviously, right? The exact team that I just used to clear the abyss. Where's your Shanley? Your Shanley better be built. Right? This is the exact team. This is like. This two teams just shred the abyss. But Kuki Shinobu isn't technically built. Right, and how's Navia doing? We'll look into that. Okay, let's have a look into these characters. Just gonna skip Navia, but she's too good. Yeah, she's too nice of a character, especially for, you know, technically free-to-play characters. How's Kuching doing? Black Sword? Okay, cool. Not bad. A little bit low on crit rate, but... Yeah, okay, Furina. Oh, that's very low, Furina. I can see why. Dude, this is very low. What is this, Furina? Why is she like this? Everything is mixed up. One sec. Alright, so Faf is going to be on Bennett. Sack is going to be on Singcho. Oh, good, Baka. She's built. Okay. She has to be on Wolfang. But you don't have her we don't you don't have the um best ring desire. Okay. Alright. Why is her crit damage so low? It went everything to EM. Oh my god, how unlucky you are. <laughs> No crit value, I can see why. Yeah, I mean, uh, the pipe is a very important weapon for Furina. Especially for free to play. Okay, uh, yeah. That is no crit value either. Okay. I mean, obviously, you should be farming more on this artifact, don't me. 12% crit rate. There's no crit damage on her. Okay. 
All right, you better find more artifacts for her. All right, C zero eight. E skill on talent level eight is not is not okay. Right, you should technically be you know level ten or at the very least level nine. Okay. Naida, how's she doing? There's no crit rate on her. She has no crit rate. She's only sitting at around 35% crit rate, and that's still not enough. Mapa Mare, okay. Where's Sack? Why she's on Sack Fragment? Mapa Mare isn't good. Like, look how low the EM is giving. Okay. It's not built, so we still have to use this anyway. I mean, I think Wizith would fit your Nahida at this point. Oh, you just recently got Nahida. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure Wizith would help her at this point. Let's go ahead and give her that. Right? And then you need just need to like take care of her crit rate. Because you're still either way, like you're having around 750 EM is still actually pretty decent. Is this the EM piece? Right, so give her crit rate piece. You have a crit rate piece? Okay, give her crit rate piece. Right, even this dude, this what why is it not on anyone? Look at that, dude. Your night is amazing now. Look at that. Your night is amazing with around 500 EM. I think that's totally fine. But she's doing a lot of off-field damage. He has around 55% crit rate, right? Almost 60, but 200 crit damage, so it's good. Like, not to mention the buff that Wizith is going to be giving you. Well, yeah, sometimes it gives EM. <laughs> now it gives sometimes. All right, Zhongli. Black Tasso. Okay, nice. That's a decent build. Okay, I think Zhongli's fine. Not fine. Never mind. Not fire though. Where is tenacity set? Oh uh, wait. Uh okay. I mean it's fine. Like tenacity can you can get away with it sometimes, but we we'll just leave it there. Now the most important thing is how Navia is doing. Why is she low in crit rate? What is this crit rate? She's 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 dude. Why why are you content with a forty percent crit rate? Okay. Uh, do you have any other options? Okay. I mean, tell Moon if you are investing into a battle pass and you have a Navia, I would actually recommend you to get a Serpent Spine. Your Serpent Spine is so good, right? It's such a good weapon for, for Navia. I mean, this is also good, but like, you actually don't need to farm her artifacts too much. I mean, you've already farmed it, so I totally understand, but Navia can be on a Hunter. Uh, on the hunter set, if you have uh, Furina onto her team, but I think this is still fine. But her crit rate is too low because the thing is, Navia crit rate is very important because she relies on her E skill to do damage, and she only has two E skill charges. If you miss, it's a huge DPS loss. Right? It's a huge. D it's it's like it's like building Eula under crit. And you're missing her burst crit, right? And her burst only goes off once every like 20 seconds or so. So if you miss Eula crit on her burst, it feels like, yeah, Navia's missing her crit onto her E skills as well. Therefore, crit is so important on her. Like, I know crit rate is like important most of the time, but for Navia, it's way more important. Right? So, which is why Serpent Spine is so good on Navia. It's, you know, if you're already buying the battle pass here and there, you might as well just get a Serpent Spine. Yeah, I mean, Serpent Spine is good on all characters, that's true, right? It's such a good, you know, mm, you know, you know, not technically free to play, but... 
the battle pass is kind of cheap enough for you, you know, free to play quote unquote players to to actually invest in. And I recommend you to live up more of her burst because you know her burst is kind of like Ganyu burst, where you know it's you know it deals you damage nonetheless, right? It gets you damage nonetheless. It's always on field, right? So it's you know sub DPS damage for you, right? So dude. I don't know how to fix your Navia right now. Wait one sec. Uh, where's... Where's Gio? Bro, Zhongli's also on Gio damage bonus. Why? Wait. Dude, that's better. Wait, why did you... Why did you not give him a 4-piece tenacity then? Okay, right, that's perfect. How's Navia doing? That's even better. Okay. Maybe we just go ahead and get, get her two-piece set. Like... How do we have more crit rate onto her? I mean, I think we'll be good if she gets around 60% crit rate. This piece can be improved. Any other good pieces that we can switch? Ah, look at that. Huta. Wait, why is Huta on this piece? Okay, dude. Huta is also on low crit rate and she's on Jade Spear. Why? That's a weird build for Hu Tao. Okay. All crit claymores are not free to play. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the closest you can get is actually going to be a Serpent Spine. Oh, Yanfei has her artifacts. Okay. Man, I'm not really sure how I can actually improve your Navia right now. Golden element skill. Let's see Golden Troop. Why is Ether Feather better than Furina's Feather? What? I feel sorry for Farina. Dude, he's he's not exactly built. Why is Ether on full E skill? Okay, so you just slot in here. It makes sense. Dude, this people for Farina is like way better. It gives you energy recharge too. And still her crit damage is still low. <laughs> but either way, you get more energy recharge. Uh, 57. AR 57, Troy. Alright, I'm trying to fix this Navia right now. But I don't think there are good enough artifacts for us to do that. This piece is decent, okay? Uh, This piece is okay. We can improve it. But not as much as this piece. This piece can be infinitely better. I mean, as long as if we have like around five more percent, that still could be pretty good. I will borrow Cleis. All right, we need another gladiator. We'll switch for another gladiator, most likely on the headpiece. You don't have any glad piece. Oh no. What? Music's banger? Chang Yu music is just insanely good. Yeah.
No glad. This is a gladiator piece. It's still bad. One sec. I feel like it, it did nothing there. Dude, oh, you're, you're lacking gladiator piece. This got servers not opening? Why is it not opening? I think Alfie will check that in a bit. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to do a two piece two piece here, Kuru. But the thing is that we're <laughs> we're not having enough pieces. I mean at this point in time, you would just have to build new artifacts, but even if you want, you don't have enough folder artifacts anyway. But Navia's not gonna be able to do anything with the four or five percent crit rate. Right, yeah, just go ahead and farm for a new blade. Uh, the, the the golden troops and the hunter set domain until you have good artifacts. That's true. That's why I put all my resins in. I always just farm a uh, golden troop and hunter set because this two set can be used on so many characters. This set is like for you know sub DPS character, and this set's for a DPS character, right? So, dude, like it's a very good domain. Oh my god. Any other way we can go about this? Because the thing is that... Most of the other pieces are so bad. Man. Maybe I just go ahead and go with like a... Uh, just go with just two, two piece bonus. And I try to get more crit rate. Oh wait, this is an attack circlet. I didn't realize that. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Dude. Okay. Twenty percent on a Bennett. That's interesting. Okay, we just have to go with this. It has to be like this, right? I will. You go onto my Discord server. There will be a uh, account review, dedicated channel for you to schedule. In description, if it's not working right now, XO, you can actually go on to one of my videos. I should also have a link there. Right? So, Navia, it has to be the set. You, there, there's absolutely no... There's absolutely no, you know, good double two-piece or four-piece that actually work on Navia on your account right now. So we just have to go with this for a crit value that's actually workable and good enough energy recharge. Alright, so Wanderer away in the How's he doing? Okay, thank god he's good. Okay, thank god. Cool. Alright, okay. Not bad. Cool. Okay, he's, he's built. He's built. Okay, that's good. Xiang Ling. Catch. Oh. Not even 5 bow. Ah, uh, not even 5 lands. Uh, CC, okay. I mean, at least you need this. Uh, the cash is still fine, but like, dude, look at... Look at level 50 cash, ain't gonna do you any good. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to build his team so that he can 36 abyss. Hi, Shane. I know you got 35 star last time. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, John. 
I also recently got the catch. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, so we'll have to do with this Shaolin, but I recommend you go ahead and build both of Favonius lands and the catch. Uh, this is not going to help. Right, so another character I believe was Bennett. Why are all good Favonius weapon series so low on levels and why is Black Sword on level 90? Right, like on your account guys, Sack Sword, Favonius Sword, those those weapon series should always be on level 90. Right, they are so good. All of your support characters generally will use this and Shaolin will still use that as well. Alright, so uh, in terms of team wise. Now if we get, if we if we go into the abyss. Oh right, your cookies not even built. You have Kazuha? Because without a shield, Nuvalet's gonna die. On first. Wondrous artifacts for Navia? Wondrous has no pieces. It's just an Animo damage piece. That might actually be good. I think Navias is kind of fine now. Yeah. Okay, so if you were to be building a team, right? Uh, it has it has to be New Belay on the first team. All Navia can be on the first phase. I mean, if she's good enough. I... okay. Nuvlet might need a shield, but... Yeah. Right, so if you were, go, were going to go in, it would be like this. But you would still want this. You don't have Raiden either, so we can't use Hyper Bloom other than Cookie. Dude, Cookie is just so low. Right, it has to be this. Right. It, otherwise, Nuvlet would uh, need Zhongli on the first team. And if that were to be the case, then we're switching out Furina. And I think that still works. It might. That's true, yeah. Navia has to be on the second phase. That's true. So, it... Okay, so it goes like this. It goes like this. Right? Where's Bennett? Then here. Okay, then here. And then uh, Nuvlet needs a shield, otherwise he'll get shredded so fast. And Kuki. And Kuki's not even built. Right? It has to be something like that. Okay. Oh, you get, you get crit damage and crit rate boost too. Oh my god, look at the pink. So definitely, I can't clear the abyss for you right now, but I'm just going to demonstrate quick. Right, it'll be like this. Right, it'll be something like that. Right? 
And then next rotation. And then like that's worse, right? And then we go again. Ooh. Right, something like that. Do that. Dude, loping, loping is just so hard to deal with. Look at that. My game's even lagging out. I don't even have cookie yet. Oh no. Okay, look at that. Cookie is not too built. I mean, as long as Cookie has enough EM, I think generally she'll still be fine. Right? This team depends on Cookie so much. Right? If your Cookie is not entirely built, it's gonna be pretty hard. Ow. Right, something like that. We're just gonna keep going. Obviously, it's gonna help clear too much. Ow. And we lack energy too. Okay, wait. You guarantee right now we're going for Alekino. I mean, yeah, good luck with pulling for Alekino if you really like it. But your team, your account is going to be having a huge problem trying to build for Alekino. Right. Hi, Shy Knight. The reason why Hyper Bloom is because his Nahida is so built. His, his Nahida is like one of the best built characters in, in the team. Right. If we're not going to be using Nahida Hyper Bloom, then we have no other slot to have a good sub DPS place. Yeah, Cookie's not built. Cookie's absolutely not built. Right, so that team relies on Nilvalet raw damage and Cookie Hyper Bloom. Right, so if your Cookie's not built, oh yeah, she has 16 EM. Look at that. There you go. That explains why she has 3k Hyper Bloom. Right, your, Troy. Right, your your question was answered. <laughs> you just Dia on Nilvalet team. Oh, Dia can work. Yeah, but I don't think Dia is built on his account. That's a level 50. So. We'd rather have Zhongli, right? We'd rather have Zhongli and just go ahead and build Kuki Shinobu and a good dream. Uh, yeah, no iron sting yet. So maybe potentially haven't really crafted. I'm pretty sure you should have. Should have. Should, should, should have at least one iron sting or two. Zhongli's shield is weak is that because he's not fully on HP build. He's only had like 39k. Yeah, so we can actually uh, try and focus more onto his HP build, right? Because this is more of a DPS build. Though I don't think this is the most important character that you want to fix on your account, right? I would basically mark over the character that you want to basically finish building because actually most of your characters are technically not built. The only character that's are actually built is New Valet, right? Uh, it's New Valet. But I'll just mark them for you anyway because it's still one of the some of the best character for you right now. Uh, there was who else? Okay, okay. So those are eight characters, right? Yeah, Huta also built. So currently, you can use Singcho, Farina, and Jin. If you want, and that can also work. You just want to start with Blade, yeah. But you need Jean if you want like a problem free in a uh uh Kutati. 
Lynn has gene stuff, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll borrow from Lynette a bit. So we have a look. Okay. Okay, that's decent. That's not bad. That's a pretty decent gene. Yeah. That's a decent gene. Okay. C2 gene as well. Okay, that's nice. We need to build rebuild hotel a bit. I think I was getting some hotel stuff. Hotel's on a mix set either way. I don't think she's actually built. <laughs> oh, Yanfei is holding on to her, right? All right, wait. Let's let's have a look at Yan face. I think yeah. I think you mentioned Yan was holding on to it. Oh, and tack. Okay. Gs four damage on first chamber OP. Yeah, now that you mention it. Nuvlet and Navia makes overwork too easy. Wow, yeah, Nuvlet and Navia is important. Very important. Okay, so. Hutasi would be something like this. But Hutasi gonna die so fast. Farina's not, not built either. Oh, I, I don't even know how your Sincho is doing. <laughs> but we need Jean. Right? That's gonna be your team. For uh, uh for Hutao. This is like technically still the best team for Hutao right now. Right? And then a Navia team on the second phase. Right? Which is really easy because you get this. But on this team, Jean needs to heal you properly. Otherwise, dude, this two robot is going to kill you so fast. Yeah, Troy, that's exactly the, the team that I, I use. Are you replying uh, your DM last time for card review? Oh, really? Yeah, of course, told me I actually forgot sometimes. Sinchos built. Interesting. Hi, the build. Yeah. We would love to have more crit rate on him, but. Right? So it'd be something like this. Right? It would be something like that. Uh, Bennett and Johnny, right? So be something like that. All right, he had he had Wolf found. He needs to be on on sack. Why? Why would you want to be him on sack? I know it's on R one, but still going to be slightly better. Dude, like she like Huta really needs crowd control. Right? And Jean's burst has to be back like right now. Otherwise it's just not good. But either way, it's still better than last time, right? With the new blood team. Here time still better right now, so I think that's fine. Oh no. Karina's not back. But either way, I think you get it. You you get the idea, right?
Oh my god. All right. Oh, Jean can crowd control these guys. Where are they? Jean can crowd control these guys. Full damage. Bam. How much? <laughs> what? That's it. Wait, that's insane full damage. Wait, wait. That's insane full damage. One sec. You guys stay still, bro. Like, you guys stay still. One sec. Okay, Jean. Alright, you guys go here. Alright. How much how much is that? 21k, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. Again, let's go. Alright, get up there. Where are you? Wait, where did it go? Oh my god. Did they take so long to fall down? What the hell? That was 200k? I thought that was like 21k. Did I miss something? I thought it was 21k. It was 210k? No way. Alright, now we have team should technically not having too much problem with this okay she's doing pretty well right you should be able to three star this first chamber i mean you did get 35 star last time so you shouldn't really be having too much of a problem okay account review uh a miko a miko oh my god uh there's gonna be my discord server that you can go and schedule your account review Okay, so here's the thing, right? I know you like Alekino, so if you want to pull for Alekino, that's totally fine. However, you're going to have a huge problem playing Alekino properly on your account. Right, uh, Hu Tao here is going to be like an easier version of Alekino. Um, because best Alekino team requires you to have Yelan and, and Kazuha. And you're missing both of those characters, right? So that's the first thing. That's the first thing. Right. Hu Tao right now can make use of Fruina on your account, but once Alekino is here, she is not going to be able to make use of Fruina because Fruina needs a healer on your team, right? And Fruina sucks out your HP so fast, right? Not to mention Alekino can only heal whenever she's on her burst. That's the thing, right? No healer is going to help her, so Fruina can never be on Alekino team. They just like they they just hate each other. Therefore, Hu Tao team is like one of the best team you've got right now. Alekino, you're gonna have trouble a little bit building her best team. Right, right. Yeah, well, Xianju is gonna be a lot better for Hu Tao too, but he probably not gonna be getting Xianju anytime soon. So if you want to pull for Alekino, yeah, for for fun gameplay, that's totally fine. But your account would love. You know, just focusing on these characters for the time being and get a few 5-star weapon. Uh, your account would love to have a few more 5-star weapons, right? Like, for example, uh, you know, Nahida weapon, you know, which she's not going to be coming back in anytime soon. Or, you know, uh, Furina weapon, right? Furina weapon is still fine. Or Constellations, right? Furina is going to be coming back soon, right? There you go. And New Villette's here. If you want more, I mean, Jade, Jade's fine. Jade's fine. You don't need new black weapon. Right? You know, Furina Constellation does one thing, right? Uh, very good. Nida's not going to come back. Or Navia's weapon, if you really like her, Navia's weapon is just so important. Hutao carry your old game. Yeah. Dude, Hutao, come on. Like, Hutao. Even Gwen. Even when Alekino comes, Hu Tao is still Hu Tao's still going to be there, because Alekino won't be replacing Hu Tao. Their gameplay is just so immensely different that that you will still want to play Hu Tao sometimes. It's because from my prediction, Alekino is just a very tough character to play. Right, she's a very tough character to play. Hu Tao's a much better, easier version to play around with. So many of the time, you still would like to have Hu Tao. So yeah. And Alekino wants, once again, you know, Kazu, Yelan, 
right? Very invested character. You know Kazuya's right now, but I don't think you're pulling Kazuya, right? I don't think you have enough pools to pull for Kazuya right now. So that's the thing, right? So I've already marked the character here. I, I recommend you to finish building Kuki Shinobu and all of the characters I've marked here in terms of investing into artifacts wise. Right? Right? And they're gonna be good. Max out Furina. Furina's nowhere near Max. Like, this number of crit damage isn't gonna get you anywhere. Right? It's not gonna get you anywhere. So, you have very good character on your account. I would just recommend you to focus on this character and finish building them. That's the only thing. Otherwise, it's gonna to be too spread out. And then you won't be able to clear the abyss most of the time. Yeah, basically, you can just go ahead. Uh, since you already got Wolf Fang, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's actually not that bad of a weapon. Wolf Fang works for Rina. Try to get around at least 190% crit damage for Farina. You can get down to 100 and si uh, sorry, 60 crit rate and 190% crit damage. Those are kind of like the golden ratio for your Farina right now. Uh, because I know you can't invest in, into too much artifacts because you know your lack. It, it's gonna take a long time for you to farm artifacts. Uh, HP is fine. Hydro is also fine, depending on which piece that you have better substats in. Yeah. Since you already got the Wolf Fang, you don't really need the pipe. Right, Wolf Fang is generally better than the pipe. Right, if you get more substat for energy recharge, I think 140 energy recharge is kind of fine. She can get away with it, but it will be more comfy if she hits, you know, 150 and above. Yeah, Wolf Fang actually looks good on her. Not gonna lie, right? It has that blue, you know, blue color that kind of fits her. Not that bad, but the sword, you know, kind of looks bad, but the color scheme is kind of okay. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, if you if you enjoy pulling for favorite character, just go ahead and pull. Yeah, it's an easy game enough. Come on, right? Whichever character you want to pull, just go ahead and pull. Like, don't be shy about it. Like, I I don't I don't care too much about a meta anymore because Genshin because Genshin doesn't care about it. All right, Genshin doesn't care about the end game, so we we just don't care about the meta, right? It's it, it's just as simple as that. Pull for your favorite character. And you should be good. Alright. Okay, so tell Moon, do you have any other question for me? Kuching on a black sword. Yeah. Man, black sword looks so bad on Kuching. Dude. I used to have a black sword on her as well, but man, I couldn't stand black sword. This looks so bad on her. All right. Awesome. Oh good, oh good. So good luck with your account and good luck if you are pulling for Alekino, right? She's gonna be a pretty nice character to have and fun to play around with. All right guys, so uh, I think I'll be stopping the stream for today. We've been going for, you know, over two hours. I do have some other videos to work on for you guys, especially Alekino. So I really appreciate you guys hopping on with me on stream. If you did enjoy account reviews, guys, be sure to go into my Discord server and just go ahead and go into the uh, account review channel. There should be um, able, you should be able to actually schedule your account reviews there. All right. Uh, okay. So I'll catch you on my Discord server next stream and also on my YouTube videos as well. All right. Have an amazing rest of the weekend. I'll catch you soon. Peace out.